Hello guys, in this video I'm building a jet engine with a car turbo and I'm gonna mount this engine on a scooter so it's basically gonna be a jet scooter. I started this project last year and I ran into a lot of problems. When it was time to test it, the jet engine was not working properly. There was fire coming out of the exhaust so I had to redo the calculations and I found out that there was a problem with the diameter of the combustion chamber. So in this video, I'm going to build a new jet engine for the jet scooter. This time, I'm going to use a turbo from a truck because it is bigger and more powerful. Okay, so as you can see, the jet engine is almost done. The only thing left to do is to take out the rust and clean the welds with the grinder. After that, I'm gonna be ready to mount it on the jet scooter. I'm just gonna, just gonna explain how it works a little bit. So the intake of the turbo is the compressor. So the air comes in to the, the compressor and get compressed. It goes into this tube right there. That's normally supposed to be hooked to the intake of the piston engine but now it's going through this uh, combustion chamber. So inside this combustion chamber, there's a flame tube. So the air comes in, go into the flame tube, get mixed with the propane that's gonna come from uh, the top. There's gonna be a pipe go, uh, of propane coming from the top. And it's gonna get mixed with that, get ignited by the spark plug. And then that's gonna generate a lot of ener heat energy and cinetic energy. So the air is gonna flow through here, go into the turbine section of the turbo that's uh, that is connected to the tur to the compressor side of the turbo so that's gonna that's what's gonna make the compressor turn and then all this energy is gonna go out through the exo exhaust and generate some thrust hopefully enough to move the uh, jet scooter
So the jet scooter is fully finished, as you can see, it's ready for the test. The next video is going to be all about just testing this and each and every system. For now, I'm just going to explain how every system works. So I'm going to start with the electric system. So the battery is right there. And the main th important things about the electrical system are the ignition, uh, the oil pressure indicator, the oil pump system and that's pretty much it so first of all the ignition system what i did is that i, I used 12 volt from the battery and i plug into the um, this relay and this condenser so that's what is generating ac current from dc current when i i flip this switch and then the, this ac current flows through here and into the ignition coil and that's just ju acts as a transformer so it's just taking the 12 volt ac current up to uh, 30,000 volt and then it's going into the spark plug to ignite, ignite the propane. Um, so that's for the ignition. Now uh, the oil system, what I did is that I used um, a 12 volt pump right there. You can see, see it right there. Uh, and there's a speed circuit so I can like let more voltage or less voltage go to the pump so the pressure can be adjust with this uh, potentiometer right here. Also, I add um, a pressure sensor right there so I can see the oil pressure in this gauge. So that's pretty much all for the electrical systems. That, there's also lights. Now for the oil system, so I already told you about the pump. So right there is a um, oil tank, the oil tank. So there's a, a line coming from under the oil tank into the pump and then from the pump into the radiator and then into the turbo also hooked up to the, the oil sensor and after that under the turbo that, that's the return line it, com it comes back with the gravity because the, the turbo is higher than the, the, the oil tank now I'm gonna talk about the gas system so this engine is, gonna, is working on propane so that's the propane tank it's from it's like a regular uh, small barbecue tank and um, the propane is flowing through this line into this electric valve so on off I can close close it and turn it on um, and then it flows it separates in two this side is for the um, afterburner but I didn't build it yet it's for another video later uh, but for now I'm just gonna focus on this side so the propane is gonna flow here this is the throttle so I can uh, let more or less propane flow into the, the combustion chamber and then it flows through here and here and into this the combustion chamber of the jet engine also there's a cooling system uh, I just use Prestone to cool the turbo but I'm not it's not really necessary for this uh, this experiment because it's not gonna long for uh, run for a long time but still I'm gonna explain how it works so that, that's the, uh, the, the Prestone tank uh, this line is going into the turbo uh, with the gravity the Preston is gonna flow here and then to let the Preston come back there's this small 12 volt pump and this line to let the Preston come back into the tank so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, for the next video is gonna be the test please watch it it's gonna be really good hopefully it will work and uh, for the, um, the HHO generator that I installed on my car, I'm gonna do the test after the jet scooter test. So the video is gonna be maybe out in, I don't know, a month, a month and a half, depending on how much time it's gonna take me to do the test uh, of the jet scooter, because this is a priority, but uh, it, it will still be post at some point. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.